How you doing, man? First time down here at the con. What are you expecting from Hall H? I don't know, man. I, everybody keeps talking about Hall H. I mean, it's just, you know, 7,000 enthusiastic people. Uh, you know, we'll see. I mean, I'm excited to see what happens when Neil walks out there because, like, this is a huge deal for him. Um, I'm excited to see that your hair grew back. That's <laughs> awesome, too. dude. Congratulations. You must have been pretty excited about that. I, I, I literally had my head shaved for, I don't know how long it was. This, this shoot just kept going and going and going. So it was like, you know, six months I had my head shaved. Lucy, just like grow the hair back. Dude. Just grow back. Yeah, the kids were like smacking my head for, for a while. Wow. Yeah, uh, we haven't seen anything from the film. Neil's really holding it tight. We've seen for the this. Yeah, right. He was literally holding it for this because of the experience he had with District Nine. It was like such a big deal uh, that they accepted it the way they did here. That he was like, even when we were shooting, he's like, nobody's gonna see anything until Comic Con, and we don't even come out for another eight months. So he's like showing stuff where the effects is done, and then footage where it's like still there's still renderings. And it's like he's really kind of like opening the kimono for it because he's like, I, you know. Those are my people. And we've seen the one photo now of you with the shaved head and the gun, and we can get a kind of a sense of the world, and we hear that it's this gritty, tough story, and you're back to an action and stuff. So right. tell me a little bit about not just your uh, love for Neil's District 9, but just what about the whole world that you wanted to be a part of? Well, it's just, it's just totally unique. Um, I mean, it's the way he does it. It's like you, you recognize the world, but you've never seen it before, yeah. you know? And... I think the idea comes from kind of his childhood. He grew up in South Africa and then he emigrated to Canada, to Vancouver, and when he was 18. And he said that that experience kind of shaped everything about him. And so, like where District 9 is, you know, it's a metaphor, it's not, you know. But he goes, look, if I'd made it about like a Zimbabwean refugee camp, like four people would have seen the movie. But if I made it about actual aliens, you yeah, know, and, with, and everyone's like, oh, cool. <laughs> so this is a movie about a, uh, uh, you know, Earth, it's the future, but Earth has become a third world planet and there's this orbital habitat that is above us uh, that sits up about 125 kilometers away um, and that's where the super rich are living. Uh -huh. Uh, and you know, it's called Elysium, and it's and everybody on Earth just wants to get to Elysium. Why am I not surprised? The Matt Damon film with some political undertones, and no, I mean, it's, it's all, cool. It's no, all, I like yeah. it. I'm into it. So it all, it all comes from Neil. It all and it all it all comes from. It's not really poli It's not poli He's just like I, you know, that rift between the haves and have-nots is always something that is interesting yeah. to a dude who who grew up the way he grew up. And he, but but he's a sci-fi guy, so he's like, I, that's how I want to. That's how I think about it. It yeah. would have made sense for you back in the day to come down here for the Kevin Smith movies. Yeah. You almost did Avatar. You almost did Star Trek. So you would have come for those. You could have come for the Bourne movies over the years. I think the fans would have embraced you for that. Yeah, I, I'm surprised actually we didn't come down here. I, I, I don't. I mean, it seems like it's blown up definitely over you know the yeah. last five years. You know, and the last Bourne movie came out five years ago. So maybe. Uh, you gonna be buying a ticket to Bourne like everybody else and just checking yeah. it out? Oh no, I want to see it. I'm really yeah. curious to see it. I think it's gonna be really good, and and uh, Jeremy's gonna be great. I'm sure. I mean, he's a great, great actor. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be terrific. Would you ever come back to the franchise? You think? Yeah. I mean, I, I've, you know, I've, I've wanted to. It's just we, we, we haven't had a story that made any sense. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like. We've always said like we'll do it if uh, if we can do it if we feel like we can do a, like we have like line of sight on a great movie like you know that's that that Makes deserves sense. to be made then we'll 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 all go do it. But that's but, how you approach a lot of things and that's what we always talk about you in directing. You've been waiting for that yeah. right time and Jody gave you some directing advice. She said find a seat when you direct a movie. Just sit, have some time to sit down yeah. a little bit because it's super busy. Is that going to happen or how are you? How's it coming along? Uh, it's good. I mean. I, <laughs> You know, I, I just did a movie that I wrote with John Krasinski that we produced, and I was supposed to direct right. it. We're both in it, um, but you know, we'd, you know, Elysium was such a you know a big long shoot, and I looked at the schedule and went, I'm gonna have to go into pre-production in two weeks, and it didn't feel fair to my family, and so I and so I called that old hack Gus Van Sant, <laughs> called him up, and nice. uh, and nice so to call to be able to make. That's Gus, cool. uh, you know, as the producer of the movie, I really made a good decision, and uh -huh. you know, we, we, we traded up and got you know a world class director. So so we finished shooting, and uh, that that movie is going to come out, I think, by the end of the year. Nice. Are um, we going to see you out on the campaign trail the rest of the year, coming up on an election? Uh, oh, oh, that campaign, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Uh, oh, oh, that old presidential <laughs> campaign, oh, sure. Presidential I always love talking politics with you, so is there a chance we're going to see you out there campaigning this I year a little know. bit? I don't know. I mean, I, 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 you know, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm, you know, well, we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. You know, we'll see how, uh, you know, 
I, I, do you think it's going to be close? Maybe it'll be close. I don't know. You well, know. A little heavy, heavy arena Comic Con for, pol for politics, I think, right? Yeah, I feel like putting on like a Chewbacca mask yeah. and just like answering as Chewbacca. There you go. There you you're going to go campaign. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dude, I can't wait to see the movie. Right, it's always fun to see you. Nice, Thanks see a lot, you. man. Thank you for watching Extra on YouTube. And for 24 7 updates on celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here, like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter here. And if you want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Right there. <laughs>